So one of the things we've uncovered and seen that um, a lot of times our clients are are targeting the you know different types of um, customers targets or or, or um, different types of demographics or different types of behaviors. And what we're finding is that they've got great ideas and sometimes they're expecting things to work and they're surprised to see that sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. So it may be logical that you'll go after a certain demographic or a certain type of uh, consumer that may be interested in what we think would be valuable for our business, but it may be that it's not resonating or they would already have been buying or the cost to reach that target audience is exceptionally high and, and negating the value that we have of focusing it so, so um, closely. So one of the things I would, I would challenge is to make sure that there's measurement in place and we need more than logic and a hunch to determine what the right audience is um, and making sure that we're actually testing and learning our way towards figuring out what are the right audiences we should be going after. Yeah, that's a really good point. And I think, I think it's not also not just the consumer demographics that you're targeting that you really need to measure. I think another thing is to, to look at where the data is coming from. I think that's a piece that people aren't always looking at. Um, there was actually a really interesting research study. It was a joint research study out of uh, MIT. And they found that the accuracy of gender-based targeting with third-party data was actually worse than 50%. So you think of 50% men, males, 50% females, um, and it was worse than that 50%. So this means that even if you had a better chance of actually serving an ad to the correct gender, if you did no targeting at all. And when you think of like the costs, as Mike mentioned, uh, associated with uh, buying against targets rather than just doing uh, no targeting at all, that's a really important piece. So what we would also recommend is to take a step back, assess where your data is coming from. Do you have confidence that it's accurate, um, that the customer profiles are built accurately? And then, you know, go, because if, even if you measure against those profiles, can you be confident that the measurement is actually telling you the right thing, that those targets that you think that you're selecting are actually correct? So um, yeah, so that's one thing that we would also recommend to, to look at as well. 